nestled among the limestone peaks. Tiandong County in southwest China's Guangxi Zhuan Autonomous Region is scarce agricultural land. Livestock farming is a major source of income for rural communities. In recent years, the local government has been promoting the linkage between enterprises and farmer cooperatives to help reduce rural poverty. Suye Livestock Company is an officially accredited poverty reduction leading enterprise. It has signed contracts with farmer cooperatives to purchase forage crops, and also provide high-quality breeding stock and technical support to help improve local beef breeds. We in the newly built livestock market, farmers sell their cattle directly, which cuts out the middleman and ensures the best sales prices. Livestock waste is converted into organic fertilizer, which reduces pollution. Farmers from nearby villages can also get jobs from the company. Zhao Zhouxing's cooperatives supply forage crops to Su Yi livestock. Lu Yuan's cooperative gets high-quality breeding stock through collaboration with a leading enterprise. Farmers join the cooperative in one of two ways. Individual livestock farmers can participate in a professional farmer's training course to improve their skills. 我教你养牛的，通过了这次学习，我也学到了好多东西。养牛主要是管理好，肥料啊，其他什么要保持清洁卫生。The farmers get useful technical information from an app on their mobile phones. They can also seek advice from experts through a WeChat group. In the water scarce Ping Li village, villagers used to capture rain water from their rooftops and store it in water cisterns for domestic use. Today, a new rural drinking water system brings clean water from the town. These are all part of a World Bank-supported project in Guangxi to help China eradicate extreme poverty. Guangxi had the largest poor population among Chinese provinces, with a poverty rate at 10.5% in 2015. The big data platform has played a critical role in locating and targeting the poor population. The system contains information on the 6.34 million poor people in Guangxi, including their housing conditions, healthcare, education, access to safe drinking water, roads and electricity, as well as the causes of poverty and support provided. The Poverty Reduction Infrastructure Project database covers all the 106 poor counties in Guangxi. The projects were identified through a participatory process from village level consultation, township and county level review and approval to public information disclosure and truly meet the needs of the poor. How are these projects financed? Integrating poverty reduction funds is key. 
by pulling funds from the central and regional governments across different channels and sectors. It gives the poor countries more flexibility and power to decide how to spend the money. 呃，应该是在多个渠道引水，一个次呃一个龙头放水的这样的一个呃资金投入的新机制，呃，解决了我们过去财政资金使用呃分散化、碎片化的一个问题，增强了贫困县呃对脱贫攻坚的一个资金的保障能力。Professor Liang Suping and her team conduct third-party performance evaluation of the targeted poverty reduction funds using the indicators designed by the World Bank project. 这是一个很好的工具，这是一个对资金的使用和管理能够做到监测和监督的，啊、呃，特别是到底这个钱花的值不值？绩效评价这个工具是可以回答这个问题的，那也帮助我们各级政府利用这个工具，很好的进行政府的管理和政府职能的改革。